to believe it. That's all it is. You played the game so hard, you played yourself, baby. A man comes to court to prove his girlfriend's son is not his. He believes she's cheating on him with his coworker, like they do. He claims the defendant had lied to him, cheated on him, and even told him herself that the kid is not his. Whew, that's a trifecta right there. Okay, well, here's what the accused has to say. To deny being unfaithful and say Mr. Fields is the one who has cheated and you can prove it. Yes, Your Honor. Furthermore, you say you're furious, you have to prove paternity to him. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Fields, what exactly has... And you know what they say, when there's no trust in a relationship, there is no relationship. Just strangers playing around and playing pretend. The plaintiff claims he doesn't trust the defendant at all, and it's mostly due to what she does most times. An example is the fact that she works a 9 to 5 but gets home at 9 o'clock at night. But she never gives him any details on where she's been or uh, huh, who she's been with. You mentioned that I found numerous amount of panties in her vehicle. Excuse me. Along your Honor. Oh, along, along with an overnight bag. Your Honor. If you have an overnight bag and we live together, why do you have an overnight bag, Sharice? Excuse me, Your Honor. Tyrell's the one who's the liar. He's the one who's the cheater. Well, when the fingers start to point, then both of them might be guilty. She accuses him of cheating and he does the same. It's like watching a reflection argue with itself. He admits to it, but she doesn't wanna. Showing that he's having sexual conduct with your this honor, lady. Your Honor, your may Honor. I, may I show you? Uh, you submitted this video to the court. Yes. <laughs> I had to block out some things, of course, but... A mess is what we call this in English. She claims he sent a video of him having a... <laughs> with a woman in a public bathroom. Daring. Apart from that being really unhygienic in hat, it's just really low for anyone to do something like that. Like, have some standards, girly. Court, yes. let's take a look at that evidence. But I'm the one who's cheating. Your Honor. But I'm your, the one who's cheating. Your Honor. It, That's a video you got from where? From he me. sent it to my phone. Your Honor. About two if, weeks ago. Your, he sent it. Well, like a rainbow, the colors of the plaintiff start to show as we get deeper into the case. He claims he cheated because she said she was going to cheat. Well, <laughs> okay. That sounds like an excuse from a five-year-old when you ask them why they broke their classmate's pencil. I'm just going to say it's disgraceful and an embarrassment to his intelligence. This is the morning before we got here hours ago. She told me that she slept with another man and she took my son to go see him last week. And that's actually his dad. Excuse me, Your Honor. I did not see, I did not say that. I did not say that this morning. What I said to him was, you keep telling me that. He keeps saying ridiculous things that he claims she said, but I'm pretty sure those words didn't come out of a fully grown adult who has the brain to make decisions. And of course, you know, cheat. It isn't going very well. No. Obviously not. One of you trust the other, but I need you to take me back during the window of conception so I can understand what exactly is going on and why. Alrighty then. His claims are either what he thinks she said or what someone else heard her say. And we all know how it goes with the he said, she said limp biscuit. He doesn't have any substantial proof whatsoever. He just seems insecure and he's projecting what he's doing onto her. He claims her cousin caught her with her coworker. Ooh. Uh, the video just showed, I'm not the one who's cheating, it's you. Your Honor, if you're in a committed relationship, why is this dude calling your phone 11 o'clock at night? It was not 11 o'clock at night. So if you are in a committed relationship, why do you have videos? Okay, it's quite unfortunate that the plaintiff doesn't seem to make any sense anymore. He now claims the reason he cheated was because she told him to go and cheat while she'll watch from afar. But like what? With binoculars from a black minivan on the corner peeping through a window? I mean, who wants that? He's not even thinking through his excuses anymore. They're just, they're garbage. In so reality, you believe, you believe you do nothing to make me believe I don't that. do anything. Anything. What proof do you have? Explain. I clearly got proof of you. Explain the Look hickey. at him. He looks e just like you. Explain the hickeys on he your neck. He looks just like and the hickeys on I your chest. I never had a hickey on my right. neck. Never. Okay, you, you, you can see what I'm saying, right? So now it's hickeys that he's putting his doubts on. Talk about insecurities. It's all just, you know, he said, she said with this guy. Coworker. Team told, Hairline. One of her coworkers told me she was giving a man oral sex in the back hallway at her job. 
<laughs> your honor. Oh, that's a lot of people talking about exactly. her. Exactly. You're getting a lot of information that I haven't even heard of. But you were seen walking in the back hallway with him on camera. Oh, well, would you look at that? He did actually bring one piece of evidence to court. A calendar of the conception dates. Well, unfortunately, it's going to be hard to trust what he says since he's not exactly known for telling the truth. And then you had this altercation with the co-worker on September 27th. Correct. Right after he did this gesture, which implied he was sleeping with your girlfriend. Correct. And then on October... The defendant denies all the evidence he brought and claims it's misinformation. None of the days are correct except the birth date. So it's all fake news? How, where are you getting these dates from? That's what I want to know. Either way, we weren't having where sex. Where you going, Tyrell? We never used protection. Either way, we weren't having never sex. Never used at protection. That time. We never used protection. Explain. So I don't understand. Explain and so to me. were you intimate with Ms. Nicholson in October? No. <laughs> well, at least he's got some redeeming qualities. She says he's been there since she found out she was pregnant. He was there for the birth, signed the birth certificate, and does provide for the child, but he doesn't think the kid is his. Well, that's the part the defendant has a lot to play in. Tell him, well, if you don't think the baby is yours, then I'll just tell you the baby's not yours. And you do understand, Miss Nicholson, that's just making a bad situation worse. Mm -hmm. Because what you're giving him is... She has a lot to play in his doubts. When he frustrates her with his doubts, she just agrees with whatever he says and tells him what he wants to hear. She then tells him all the wrong things right before they get the results. Mr. Fields, you are his father. A woman admits to sleeping with both her boyfriend and another man, which is her experience. She comes to court to prove that only her boyfriend could be the father and to get the other man out of her life. Well, father, because your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Richardson, is. Yes, Your Honor. You say today's DNA test will allow you to get rid of Mr. Martin and to finally reconcile your relationship with Mr. Richardson. Is that yes, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Martin, who she wants to run away from, claims that the plaintiff led him to believe that he had fathered her child and she'd kept the baby from him till the time she felt comfortable enough. He claims he wants to be the daddy and he hopes the DNA proves that he is. It's not every day you see people that are fighting to be a kid's dad, especially when the mother of the child doesn't want them to be. As knows. And he don't favor Mr. Martin at all. So that's why I'm sure. Just by looks alone. Yeah, by looks alone. But Mr. Martin, you disagree? Yes, because I know I had unprotected sex around the time that she conceived. She might say I didn't have it. As many okay, so he claims he remembers dancing in the rain without an umbrella, if you know what I mean, wink, wink, innuendo, uh, during the time of conception. He should at least be considered as a possible father, but unfortunately, she's not having any of that. She claims that the child looks like the other dude. He claims she's led him to believe he was the father at first. She called him when she got pregnant and had told him that he could be the dad. But ever since the baby was born, she's been trying to push him away. Say I'm pregnant and you're first, the father? First of all, I called both of them because I wasn't for sure who, you know, who was the father because I slept with both of them around the same time. Okay, so you do admit his yeah. testimony is true. Yeah. Take me back. I want to understand this relationship. So how do you... Well, the relationship wasn't even a committed relationship. It was more of a binky bong dong dong relationship, if you know what I mean. She was having trouble with her boyfriend at the time, and she ended up meeting Mr. Martin and developing a poo -poo relationship with the guy. You want to be in a relationship yeah, with Yeah, but I didn't want to be in a relationship with him. But you were trying to get her pregnant. Yes, Your Honor. So you just going to go out and just make a baby with anybody? No, not with anybody. But that's I gotta what you're get, But I got to get to know you, though. Okay, but you... Fun fact, the defendant is only 19 years old. And he was purposely trying to have a little baby with someone. These people need an intervention to take away their ignorance. They bring in the conception dates, and she claims it didn't correlate with the defendant's testimony. But most times in a case like this, certainty is really hard to determine. And you were intimate with her before and after this yeah, date before, of conception. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well yeah, let's honestly. just be certain. Before what she, she has already testified to puts you in the window of conception regardless. Yes. So, in many ways, you... But she found out she was pregnant. She didn't tell them about each other because she was in love with Mr. Richardson and didn't want him to find out about Mr. Martin. <gasps> Scandal! I don't know what that is, but that's definitely not love. 
Mr. Martin's trying to be the father, but she's not interested. She doesn't even want him to be. She just had to resort to running away from him. A member of mine, I wouldn't be around it because I didn't want to see him or have nothing to do with him. I was worrying about my pregnancy and being with Mr. Richardson. So you admit in court today that you purposefully just really shut him out. She denied him of everything, even considering that he might be the dad. Denied him the birth, birth certificate and everything. All because she didn't want her dirty little secret to come out. Never before have I seen someone so ignorant. Mr. Martin know when I had Logan. You didn't? No. You didn't think he had a right to know that the baby was coming? When it no, potentially because, could be his? No, because I wanted Mr. Richardson to know all of that. I didn't want Mr. Martin to know none of that because I don't want him to just be so, Logan's father. Just, oh, this is what we call paternity fraud. She fooled them both, and unfortunately, Mr. Richardson is the one who's going to hurt the most if the results don't come back in his favor. His name's already on the birth certificate. Really? Yeah. So when you're in the hospital, you're thinking that without a doubt, this is my child that's being born today. Yes. And that's why you signed the birth certificate. Yes. But it wasn't until four months after this child was born you found out about Mr. Mark. The way he found out was through her. She basically confessed it to him herself because she was suspecting that he was cheating on her. What the... What do we even call these people? Trapping yourself in your own trap? Well, unfortunately, hurting the poor man who's been there for her all the time since the kid was born is a really stupid idea. You know, throughout that pregnancy, you know, been there, signed a birth certificate and everything, you know, held him in my arms, you know, doing what I know the right thing to do for a child that I know that's mine. I mean, he looks just like me. His eyes. He believes the kid's his, but unfortunately, the mother of the child has not said anything that isn't defaming her character. It's possible that there's another dad that she's not even telling us about. Right there. Ms. Bruce, that's my son I, right there. You know, I, I completely understand how you want to stand in court today and just say, I am positive that this is Mr. Richardson's child because you've made it clear yes. that you don't want to be with Mr. Martin. You never... The plaintiff's been smiling and smirking since the case began like the mastermind that she is. But unfortunately, that isn't going to help her with the results now, is it? Because that's one thing that's outside of her control. So let's check out those results. Mr. Richardson, you are not the father. <gasps> what? Mr. Martin. I told you. What? I told you. You are the father. You. I told you. I knew what it was. No, no. Here we go. A 19-year-old girl claims that her ex's meddling mother caused her ex to doubt fathering her 10-month-old child. Jinkies. She claims when the results state that he's the father, she wants his name added to her child's birth certificate. Okay, then. Your on and off three-year relationship has led you both to believe. You say you need the DNA results or you're not signing anything. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so Ms. Seuss, why has this relationship been on? She claims that he's too controlling and insecure. She can't stay out for too long or he'll ring his imaginary curfew. He doesn't want to see her even talking with someone else or she'll never hear the end of it. They're both jealous. We they're both, both did, they're both jealous. Of course I'm jealous. It. You were yeah, my boyfriend for like almost three years. And why wouldn't I be you jealous? You guys do the same thing girl. to each other. All right. How old are you guys? I'm 19. I'm 20. All right. There we go. <laughs> okay, Judge Lake has said it all. They are clearly immature and they didn't waste time in showing that side of themselves. The defendant says that he's doubtful because the plaintiff had contact with her ex while they were dating. Well, surprisingly, she didn't deny it. She says he did the same, so there's really no difference. Here for him. I never said I loved him. He told his ex he loved her, and I did go to the movies with a boy, okay? For, what nine, is that? for nine hours. What movie is nine um, hours? And you all were in a relationship on and off for three years. Yes. What happened when you told him you were pregnant? He claims the relationship was on and off. She'd gotten pregnant when their son had started, which is a big reason why both him and his mom are doubtful. Damn it, but it's just that, you know, they broke up, and then it just, it really did seem like it just happened right away. Like, he did have sex without a condom, so it probably did happen right away. So you're saying two weeks after getting back together, you take this test. Now, his mommy confesses that she's been through it with both of them. They're just both immature with each other and have trouble communicating, and they just keep proving her right every second. Either. I'm not innocent either. I, have, we and I, I want to ask you to be year, there. But I was there and through the pregnancy. Mr. But you really weren't. But I wasn't, though. How? Yes, mean? I did. So what, what happened during the pregnancy? There was a time when someone came up to me and I said, 
Mommy claims someone out of the blue came to her at the store telling her to get a paternity test because Mr. Sosa moves around a lot. And honestly, that's enough doubt. There's no risk in finding out the truth, so just do it. Well, unfortunately for Mommy Deary, it's sad that the plaintiff doesn't have anyone in court to support her through this. I've been doing this for so long by myself. It's like, I'm just fed up. She didn't have to be alone. She chose to. That, yep. that was all was, Who was there for me? She chose to. Me? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Payne says you didn't have to be alone. Why did you choose? She claims the main reason she disappeared was because they argued too much and she realized it wasn't good for her kid. She's been independent for so long and didn't mind taking care of her child alone. But she realized that it's not about her, it's about her daughter. I, now, I didn't do nothing at all. Got you it. Not even you come in and out of life. You, you come just in told and out her of her you life, did not though. want me around. I did. Not making I did. No sense. Okay, let's get, let's get some order. Let's get some order. How much anger? What is going on between the two? Because they love each other. She claims he comes in and out, which she doesn't like. So it was better for her just not to bother him. The child doesn't even know him, which is the worst part. So it was a problem. Well, how, how is it a problem? A problem. How is it a problem? Well, when you just asked me, it's a problem. What did I do? Right? And what did I do? When you her diapers. When you just and what did I do? What right did I, when you just asked, okay. what did I do? What did you, you do? You said you, you needed a stroller. Long. You ain't even put the stroller up. Okay. Because Who, it's I'm my... His doubts have no evidence behind him, but unfortunately, you don't need evidence to have doubts. You need to see the truth to extinguish those doubts. Nobody got nothing to say. So. Is there anything in your past that would warrant them spreading these rumors about yeah. you? There yeah. is. Okay, yeah. so that's what we're here to do is tell the truth. Yeah. But then when you met Mr. Payne, those things changed. She claims she's tried to arrange a regular meeting where they'll meet the child, but they never wanted to. But claim is not the truth. Nah. Him too. He'll be like, oh, you he'll tell you you can't see the baby, da da. The last time the last argument we had at your house, I took and you never and work. then after that I never heard from you again. Because I fell alone. Like y'all neither okay, y'all feel alone. Yo. Make... It's really sad that they're so young and they've got so many responsibilities. She tries to act strong when she's really clearly tearing apart inside. And they try to be there for her, but for some reason, she just runs away. This is definitely stemming from something bigger. You are the father. Thank you. I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Now I could be happy. Yeah.